Hey all my movie maniacs, it's that time it is I, and today I've got a doozy of a film. What a great title this is. You know what you're getting into when you watch a film called Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs, where it tells of this town that's got a mine, where uh, the mine is pretty much keeping the town alive. Well, <laughs> that soon changes when the mine accidentally hits this cavern that had trapped some prehistoric dinosaurs in there, and the dinosaurs are unleashed on the town, and we see how an ex-rodeo rider who has a dark a little bit of a you know rough history with the town has returned looking for work and he ends up finding dinosaurs and he teams up with a foreman from the mine as well as a few of the townsfolk to try to fend off this dinosaur menace before they annihilate the entire town. <laughs> Ari Novak gives us a fun monster film, and we've seen plenty of these now, mostly thanks, you know, spearheaded by Asylum, but I will say some of the Asylum monster fare has been weak, or it hasn't been as strong as it could, and this one is a cut above those. One is because of the story they have. I like the characters in here. The, not only are they well-performed by everybody involved, and look for Eric Roberts to make an appearance in here as well, but Rib Hillis playing uh, Val Walker. Rib is no uh, stranger to the monster film as he was in Sharktopus vs. Terraconda, which I've got to see that one. Uh, and I liked his character for the most part, this silent guy who's just looking for work and trying to kind of forget his past, carrying an old flame for his ex-girlfriend, but the only problem I had with his character was the way they wrote it and the history that he had with his uh, girlfriend Sky was almost a little bit too heavy for a film like this. And it'll also probably have uh, people getting a uh, tough time getting behind his character. Now, Sky is played by Casey Fitzgerald. and Her character, I liked it as it went along. I didn't like her as first kind of a weaker female character than what we like to see, but as the film goes on, she gets stronger, and I like that. Dr. Sinclair in here, played by Sarah uh, Malakul Lane, who was in Pernicious as well as Sharktopus, enjoyed her character quite a bit uh, in this. A strong female character at all, just trying to keep things together and keep her job, and really enjoyed seeing her on screen. And uh, John Freeman as Henry was, was, uh, was great as well. There's a lot of great people in here, including Look for Vernon Wells, who's been in Caesar and Otto's Paranormal Halloween, and he was in The Road Warrior as well as Commando. Great seeing him on screen as the representative of the corporation who owns the mine. There's a great dynamic between all these characters, and it felt like they were having fun. They knew what type of film they were, but they were playing these roles to the best of their ability, and let me tell you, uh, it, that helped really solidify this film and move it up above the other monster films out there. Production design, as far as the dinosaurs go, in some shots, the dinosaurs look fantastic, actually. They liked how they blended them fairly well into the live action. There's other points where it looked a little cheesy, which brings me to the recommendation of anybody who enjoys the Sharknado, the Sharktopus, the Mega Shark, the Anaconda, Lake Placid type of uh, crowd out there, you're going to want to watch Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs. It's uh, cheesy fun with lots of gore uh, in here. Uh, you know, an interesting story and some solid performances. And I liked how things kind of played out at the end. Nothing like seeing a cowboy ride a Triceratops. You, you gotta see the film to believe it, folks. So, if you like these types of modern monster films, I would recommend this film. I think you'll enjoy it. I know I did, and it was fun seeing Eric Roberts always on the screen. So, uh, check it out. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We're that close to a thousand subscribers. Appreciate every single one of my fellow movie maniacs out there, and until next time, keep that ticket stuff.